Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. So, where were we? I guess in last lecture, I have discussed about the structure of single nucleotide. What were the it is constituents and what were the linkages that were present in the single nucleotide. But here I am going to discuss about the arrangement of these nucleotides which later on form a DNA structure. Clear? Before going ahead, I would like to ask you to please open your book that is of biology by NCRT at page number 98. There you can see a figure. It is um, described as figure 6.3. And it is labeled as DNA double helix. So just observe the picture. Clear? Students, a piece of information for you. DNA is not of single type. It has different forms. And how they are different? It is the arrangement of nucleotides. The constituent is same. Remember. Because DNA is made up of polynucleotide chain. And what is the difference? It is the dist either one parameter I am describing. It can be the distance between two nucleotides. In one form, the nucleotides may be placed a bit closer. And in another form, they may be placed a bit far from each other. Clear? So, here I will discuss about the B form. It is um, given by uh, Watson and Crick. Okay. And this is also included in your slavers and it is very famous, widely known as Watson and Crick model for DNA. So, number one point of this model is that DNA consists of two polynucleotide chains. Remember that DNA is never found in single stranded form. Okay. However, there are, sing uh, there are some exceptions like in some plant viruses, the genetic material can be single stranded DNA. But generally, DNA is a double stranded. So, it is a double stranded polynucleotide chain. Number one point. Number two, the two chains of DNA, they are anti parallel in fashion. You people are very aware with mathematics. So, anti parallel, you know very well. The distance between two chains, it does not remain the same. Okay. Somewhere they may be closer, somewhere they may be further and they have a polarity, the most important point. What is the polarity? One chain, it will have the direction of 5 prime to 3 prime and another chain, it have the polarity of 3 prime to 5 prime. Kindly refer to the figure, you can see there clearly. Number 3 point. The bases in two strands of DNA chains, they are connected with each other by hydrogen bonds. Remember it, adenine, it always forms a bond with thymine and guanine, it forms a bond with cytosine. Adenine, it is connected with thymine with two hydrogen bonds. The, uh, the thymine and adenine, they are from two different chains. Okay. And vice versa. That means that the thymine is also connected with adenine with two hydrogen bonds. And both these nitrogenous bases, they are in two different strands of DNA. Dear students, now guanine, it is bounded with cytosine with three hydrogen bonds. The double chain of DNA, 
it is helically twisted in a right-handed fashion. What does that mean? Helically coiled. For simplification, you can take the example of a spring that is present in your pen. Okay? Take the spring. The arrangement of the spirals is exactly that is found in DNA. The pitch of DNA is 3.4 nanometer. Now, what is pitch? Pitch means when a DNA takes one complete turn and the distance is 3.4 nanometer. Right? There are approximately, or you can say, um, appro 10 base pairs in each turn. But in other forms, there can be 11 or more than 11. But in B form, there are 10 base pairs in each turn. The distance between two adjacent pairs, it is 0 0.34 nanometer. Adjacent means which are placed side by side. Okay? It is very easy to calculate because when one um, helix or one turn, it is having the distance of 3.4 nanometer and there are 10 uh, base pairs in one turn, then you can easily calculate the distance between two uh, base pairs, which is exactly 0.34 nanometer. Clear? Dear students, the hydrogen bonds in DNA, it confers to the stability of DNA structure. So, is it clear to you? With this, we have completed the Watson and Crick model for DNA. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any comment or any query, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetko.com. You can post over there and you can also listen to some previous lectures.